Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to build a custom carousel plus a custom pagination in React Native. I was inspired by Zara's mobile app, in more particular the product detail screen, where they have this beautiful carousel plus a little dot indicator. And I will show you my way of doing it in React Native by using Flatlist Animated API. We are also going to build a custom pagination. As you can see from the screen, there is this dot indicator pagination plus a circle that's moving based on the active slide from the flat list. Plus bottom sheet by Gorhom. So let's play the intro, jump straight into VS Code and start building this beautiful carousel plus the bottom sheet that's appearing in the gestures. Shall we? <laughs> Okay guys, so we are in VS Code here. I've created a project using Expo uh, and I've also added a couple of images for the product details and some product informations that we are going to display uh, on the screen. In case you'd like to download the starter code, the link to it is down in the description. You can grab it and add it in your ID. We can start together, right, coding on this tutorial. So let me walk you through what we have so far. We have here uh, some uh, dimensions for the image that we are going to display inside the carousel. So we have an item width, which is the width of the screen, plus an item height, which is 75% of the entire height. We have um, a list of images. Those are images that we are going to display within the carousel. Uh, I grabbed the images and the description title and the price from Zara's uh, homepage. So those refer to the same product, but from different angles. And in here we have another object containing the product information, such as title, description, and price. The first thing that I would like to start with is the flat list. So we will create first the carousel, then the pagination, and lately we will add the bottom sheet. So let's start with the flat list here. Inside the, uh, inside the render method, we'll have a flat list. And this flat list will have the data as images. We'll have also key extractor. We don't care about the item. That's why we have an underscore. So we don't care about it. The only thing that we care about is the index of the, of the data. And here we will send index to string. To string is required for key extractor within flat list. So it has to be a string. So that's why index is a number and I'm converting it to a string. And down below we'll have a render item method. And this render item will have the item. And inside we'll render a view. Inside this view we will have an image. So image source is going to be URI, is going to be directly the item because the data is actually a list of strings, which is uh, an image URI basically, right? Hit save now and create here a style styles image and down below in the style sheet create let's create the style image is going to have a width of item width and the height of item height and also play around with the resize mode is going to be cover so we have a beautiful uh, vertical list right that's containing all the images that we've uh, we've uh, grabbed from Zara. And now let's actually make this uh, carousel style, right? And the first thing that I would like to do is snap to interval. And snap to interval is basically saying where to actually snap, at what interval. And the interval in our case is going to be item height. Right, so we would like to snap based on item height and we'll pass also the deceleration rate of fast so it's going to move it's going to snap to that particular interval really fast so let me hit resave here and now we have this pagination in place directly which is looking really nice and let's move this flat list into its own view and assign a style to this one as height is going to be item height and will overflow hidden. In this way, we will not make the rest of the item visible, right? So we have one, two, three, four, and then the last one. 
which is amazing and we also need to get rid of the uh, indicator here so show vertical indicator is going to be false and the last thing before before going to the actual animation it's i would like to get rid of this bounces effect you see this bounces effect it's uh, happening on the ios and i would like to remove this one and to remove it pass bounces as false you see that i cannot i cannot go beyond that and now let's work on the pagination so we have the carousel that was it basically it's really simple to create one especially uh, this sort of carousel but now the uh, we need to create the pagination in order to move things around on the pagination we need to convert this flat list into an animated flat list and grab the scroll y value based on the uh, based on the position of the flat list so go here on top before rendering and create the variable scroll y which is equal to a react use ref a new animated value and we'll start from zero get the current also import animated from react native and the reason why i'm using use ref is because i like react to keep track of everything so whenever this component is going to be re-rendered uh, the scroll list is not going to change, so the value is going to be kept during a component lifecycle. And with this scroll x, uh, scroll y that we have here, we can define on scroll method and apply it to the flat list. But first, let's convert this flat list in, to be an animated flat list, and now pass the on scroll method. And the on scroll method is going to be an animated event. We'll get from native event content offset the y and assign it to the scroll y and in our case we'll use the native driver nothing should change right but now when when this scroll is going to happen we are actually going to modify the scroll y and we can interpolate it we can play around with animation based on this value below here where we have the view and inside we have the flat list as a sibling i would like to render the pagination so create a view and inside the view we'll iterate over the images right because we'll like to have the same amount of dots as uh, the carousel slides so images data will we don't care about the item itself an underscore and then the index we only care about the index and inside we'll render a view it's going to have a style tiles dot also style styles pagination it's actually map instead of data my mistake my blame so here we'll have a pagination and then we'll have a dot and for the pagination i would like to position this absolute or top let's say of 100 and the left of 20. nothing should be visible right but because we didn't style the dot so the dot will have a width of dot size, height, dot size, border radius, dot size, background color, 333. Dot size is not defined, so let's create the dot size. So dot size is going to be 8 in our case. Hit save. And we have, uh, uh, at the top here, we have the list of dots. And I saw that React was complaining that whenever you map through a, a collection of items, you actually need to specify a key for each individual uh, child. So here I'll pass a key of index. Great. So let's give it a, a little breathing room here to the dot. So we'll have a margin bottom of dot spacing. And dot spacing, we can define it above. That spacing is going to be 8. Hit save so we have this, this navigation and now let's position this in the middle for the pagination should be item height divided by 2. Alright so it's going to start from the middle of the screen. Amazing and now when, uh, when we will move through the carousel items we would like to have a circle that's moving to the dot that's actually the index of the flat list and in order to do that here inside the, the view where we display the dots, we need to have another view, tile, tile dot indicator. Well, let me grab those tiles from here, but instead it's going to be dot indicator size. Dot indicator size is going to be dot size plus the spacing, dot spacing. 
right so we'll have that indicator here the border width is going to be one and the border color is going to be 333 and we have this dot here and we'll also like to position this absolute and it's going to sit on top of the list so let's shift this uh, to be like in the middle of the of the dot indicator so we'll have a top minus dot size divided by two and then a left minus dot size divided by two and this should be aligned properly based on the small dot inside and now when when we move the carousel up and down we would like to also move this uh, dot indicator so we need to first convert this to be an animated view and for the style we'll have we'll play around with the translate y so we'll have transform translate y it's going to be an animated divide we'll divide the scroll y with the uh, item height so basically this is going to be 0 1 2 3 4 5 right and now we will interpolate it and we'll have the input range as 0 1 and the output range is going to be 0 and then the dot size so now when we are going to move this actually it's dot indicator size so now when we move the 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 dot uh, when we move the uh, carousel we are also going to move the indicator so let me walk to what what i've actually created here because i'm pretty sure that i've somehow confused you so first i'm dividing the scroll x by item height meaning that scroll y is going to be starting from zero to i don't know 2000 let's say right but i would like to have this number as 0 1 2 3 4 5 basically the active index from the flat list and i know that each slide from the flat list has an item height i can divide the scroll y value by the item height and the value of it is going to be either 0 1 2 3 4 5 exactly the index so basically this value i'm interpolating it and I'm passing an input range of 0 and 1. Notice that I'm not going to do like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The reason for that is because I'm not clamping the animation. So I don't extrapolate it. So it's going to co continue beyond this interval. So just remember that this one can be it's 0 and 1 and the output going to be 0 and dot indicator. But when this... Uh, uh, the input range or the value of this div division is going to go to 2 the output range is going to continue its interpolation so basically at index 2 this is going to be dot indicator size multiplied by 2 and this is how a linear interpolation actually works until you actually clamp or extrapolate the the left or the right hand side of the interval so that's why we, we only needed two different input ranges and based on that uh, the uh, linear interpolation is going to take effect based on whatever comes next all right so we've created uh, also this pagination and the last thing to create the bottom sheet and down below here where as a as a sibling of this view we will have a bottom sheet so the bottom sheet is actually coming from the uh, the package by Gorhom, which is bottom sheet, uh, which is a really really powerful package that uh, allows you to create those kind of gestures with a scroll inside it. And this uh, bottom sheet actually has its own flatly scroll view that you can integrate inside it. So let's also import the bottom sheet scroll view and inside the bottom sheet here we'll have a bottom scroll view and inside this we will have a, a text that will contain the product title text is not defined let me import text all right and we need to provide to the bottom sheet a couple of properties and the first one is the snap to points and snap points it's actually a list of the uh, 
intervals where this bottom sheet should snap and in our case it should start from 25% of the of the of the screen height so we would like to start from uh, from this uh, this uh, this amount so it's 25% of the screen then we can go to 50% of the screen and then directly the height or we can start 25% and then immediately 100% and in our case to determine this space here we can we can do height minus item height and then we'll go directly to height right so it's 25 percent and then um, full height by an initial snap index which is going to be zero the reason why this is displayed in the middle is because the the view that's containing also the flat list and bottom sheet doesn't have a flex one so if we apply flex one, now you'll notice that each one is going to take a particular uh, screen uh, dimension. This is looking really good. Here inside, we'll actually have, let's give this um, background color of white, right? We'll have a product title. We'll also have a, a description and notice that the description actually has a list of uh, text so we'll have the product description map text and index and here we'll return text and also key it's equal to index and down below before the product title we'll actually have the price all right so we have the price and everything let's style this just a little and for the price we'll have a phone size of 16 for the description we'll just apply a margin vertical 20 all right and also let's give it a breathing room here to the uh, to the bottom sheet so content container style padding of 20 to we'll create this breathing room here right and for each individual description here i would like to apply a margin bottom so it's going to be 10 and line height 22 great and now we can also modify this so if we go to the top you notice that this is going to be uh, like a full screen view but notice that if i'm multiplying this view now this this is going to be scrollable inside so we can close it we can open it and it's going to be um, it's going to be scrollable inside it's a it's a really powerful package i highly recommend to check out the link from the description and play around with it uh, there are infinite possibilities down there so that was it guys thank you so much for staying so long with me i hope that you've learned something new you've learned how to create a carousel or so a custom pagination and also how to integrate the bottom sheet in your project if you have any issues don't hesitate to leave a comment down below i'll do my best to, to answer all of them and help you as much as i can also don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button see you in the next video thank you